Hi there, it's Bruce with Nature Calls and out today to do a test run setup before I use it of the Hilleberg Solo. And this is one of their freestanding tents. So the Hilleberg company is really well known for their tunnel tent designs, but they also are really great about producing some really robust freestanding stuff. And this tent and some of their other freestanding tents originally, from what I understand, were designed for like the canoeists or people that were going out in canoes. But what I like and what a lot of people in my neck of the woods in the Northwest is the freestanding tent because we do have uh, places where we camp out on, say on rocks and there's no dirt. So there's nowhere to put the stakes in to properly get a good purchase for say the tunnel tents. So this is the Solo. It's a four season. It's their red label. So that's like their middle weight design. It's using the Curlon 1200, and it has uh, you know all the it has all the abilities of their black label, but it's the lighter fabric. So they use um, you know, that the the poles and, and things like that are just slightly lighter. Uh, their lines are slightly lighter, but the design and the and the fit and the function is uh, this makes a great four season, very robust dome style tent weighs a little over five pounds so yeah it's heavy for say summer lightweight hiking but if you're into winter um, and snow this is a great tent you'll see just by the design it's very very structurally sound which we have a lot around here is we have heavy heavy snows and heavy heavy snowfalls coming out of tree boughs so and landing on tents so let's put this together and see how it looks. Here's the, the pole bag. And they always put a spare or a repair kit in their pole bag. And so these are their DAC, their nine millimeter pole. And so these are, you know, they do a ton of research as to what materials to use. And these are obviously well-known DAC poles, um, the top of the line DSA pole, DC, DAC poles. And one of the things that uh, tents they're built this fail this is the point so right here where they go together you got to make sure those are completely the ferrules are tight um, you don't want to drop them or do anything that will hurt these these poles so we'll get all the poles set Now this one here has the red label, so I can expect I'm going to see a red indicator on the tent itself. So the pole that I indicated with the red tape, so there's a red ribbon on this pole sleeve. Now Hilleberg, on their, on their tunnel tent designs, you have like a full sleeve that goes over. In the freestanding, they have these sleeves at the bottom, which I found is really great because you're really, if you're in really big winds, you, s you can stake out the tent completely. Now, even though it's a real, fairly calm day right now, what's really kind of nice about these freestanding tents is that they, you can stake them out in the wind. So you can, uh, I'm not gonna stake them out completely because I'm just doing a test run, but you can stake it out completely um, if there's a heavy wind just flying on by. Now the stakes that it comes with are these nice, they're DAC stakes. I think this is called their Y-PEG. What you want to do is when you stake it, you want to put it at base at a 45 degree angle to the tension of the tent. You don't want to stand it up or down too flat, but you can, you can try and get it as stout as you can. This is fairly rocky soil, but you don't want to step on it. 
but I'm not gonna put it all the way in but you want to bring the stake so it's all the way up to the top right where this little spot is we kind of make them believe that we have the uh, So we're making believe we have the wind happening. This is where these freestanding tents, as opposed to the regular tunnel tents that Hilleberg makes, this freestanding, you know, just has sleeves at the bottom. And this one has the red tape on this pole and has a red ribbon on this sleeve. So we're going to insert all the way down the bottom of this heavier vinyl. So it's all the way down. Find the other side with the corresponding red ribbon. And that's the first thing. So here's what's really nice, what I like about these freestanding tents, is even in the wind, we're gonna keep the tent as low profile as we can. Now the other two poles are the same length. All the way down. down this one. They did put some indicator ribbon. Silver and blue, but these are both the same length. What I found is always go over. So the next pole goes over the top. Don't put it under because you need to be able to bend it. But you want to go around and do these clips now. As you go around, do just one as you go around. Now these tents are made to have two poles in here. So if you have two poles, you just put one clip on one and then one clip on the other one. We work our way around, kind of make them believe there's heavy wind. Let's see here, I got an issue here. Okay, so I just discovered, you know, something. That's why you do these practice runs that putting this one with the red tape on it uh, is the last one you want to do. So you want to start off with these two, the two longer longitudinal bars, just the way they've put these little clips. Um, so do the, the longitudinal ones first and then this one that goes over the middle as your last pole to put in. That's why you do these uh, practice setups. Okay, so now all these clips should work quite a bit better. I really like how they, this is a real kind of a heavy vinyl that they have all the clips on. And they're just easy clips, easy to do with your gloves on. Here we have the vent for the roof. Get in the vestibule, it can be tied on up. Now these four season tents, like the Hilleberg, where you put up the outer and the inner at the same time, the whole design is to keep it from getting humidity in there, but just by the nature of, just by the nature of camping out in the weather, you're going to be getting your wet clothes and all that. So learning how to ventilate and understand how all these tents work is really important. Now with a lot of their freestanding tents or their dome style tents, they have this little rain fly that goes over the top. And you just hook that onto this little ring down there. that ring right there so now you have a, a rain fly on the top so that's nice so they made nice seams kind of follow it you can tighten that down excellent all right so let's take a look at it so and set it up in the wind so that would have been the the leading edge into the wind so here's the door that is coming across and has a weather shield that goes over the zipper You definitely want the door, if you're really trying to guess where you want the door, you want it so you don't get snow built up. 
in front of your door. That's probably the easiest, easiest way to put it. Now here you have the guy out points, the guy lines here. And what you can do with those to make it even stronger is, is do a wrap around your tent pole. It's kind of interesting with this is that they don't have, on a lot of their tents, they have like a Y situation. But here they actually have two individuals individual lines so that's that's pretty cool so all we have to do is stake it out and this is their their vectran that's a, a their guy lines are vectran and polyester i think is what it is and, and it's their proprietary um, guy line but it's super super strong and it's doesn't have a cover on it like say paracord so it it might get some water but it doesn't absorb a lot of water just by its nature um, and it always is grippy and has these really nice line locks on it so you just want to tighten it down so if you're going to be using the guy lines you just want to tighten it down so it's it's taut but not like deforming the tent now here you can see hopefully this is called the inner and it is suspended on the outer. And so what happens if condensation does build up, it will hit the outer tent and it will slide down and just go straight into the ground and stay off the, uh, the inner part of the tent. This is silicone, triple silicone impregnated. So this is waterproof material. The material that they use on their inner tent is not, but it has a, a water repellent. They do use a heavy duty fabric. I think it's like 70D. I'll put all the specs and everything down there for their bathtub floor. It goes up a good eight inches. Now what the big difference you see on uh, what makes a three season tent or a four season tent is the inner tent. So the inner tents that are four season are all fabric on the inside. The three season tents, you'll see that they're mainly mosquito netting on the inside. Uh, here's the, the vestibule. So this is, again, a one-person tent. So this would be one backpack in here, and there's plenty. What's really nice about the Hilleberg tents is that this pole here pushes out, and it actually holds it out. My three-season tents just have a stake, but this is, it gives you plenty of room out here. Now let's take a little. Let's take a look at the inside. What's nice is it is a dome, so what they've done is they've allowed, it's like half the dome or two-thirds of the dome over is a sleeping area. So you do have, in the middle, it's very wide. Hey, Trigger. Nice yellow interior, nice and cheery. Now I'm six feet tall, and... I've got about eight inches at the top of me and maybe four inches at the bottom of me. Here's the side area. I mean, so you can you can roll around, toss around. Got some little places up here to hang things. Dry your clothes out. We do a little line there. And then of course then they have a pocket. You can also open up this other door to get maximum ventilation. And right up here is the vent, so when your door's closed, you can vent the tent out even more. So let's go ahead and close the door down. And you do have the ability, oops, double door. You do have the ability to open up a bug screen and so you can wake up and look out at whatever view you got going on that's nice I like that very nice So 
So I guess you can vent from the top. Okay. So you can add some ventilation up here. All right, so there you have it, the Hilleberg Solo. Um, looking forward to using it. We've got some hikes where I know we'll be using, we're gonna be needing things that'll be on barren rock. So we're gonna need freestanding tents. Um, I think it's, of course, Hilleberg quality. Uh, look at their site, they explain how strong their fabrics are, how strong all their materials are. So it's gonna be good. I'm glad I did this setup. Now I know some things to look out for when I go set it up. So any questions, please give a, give a comment or ask. Um, it's just another spectacular Hilleberg tent. See you on the trail.